Oh shit, this is bright. Um, what up beautiful people? It is, uh, what day is today? Sunday evening. Yesterday we moved places um, from, from, wow I can't think right now, uh, from Ubu to Changu. And um, the funny thing that happened is so, um, when, when I booked a place for Changu for Ricky, Anastasia and I, um, I booked it through booking.com and uh, I reserved two, night at this, two nights at this place and um, Ricky came before us and he arrived and they were like, yeah, we only have one room and Ricky's like, what do you mean? We reserved two rooms and they're like, yeah, yeah, we only have one room and uh, turns out in Bali, reserving something doesn't mean much if someone else shows up who's willing to pay on the spot. There's no such a thing, thing as reserving. Um, so Ricky took that place. We found another place actually next door. Um, it's kind of weird. So we have 10 more days left until at least Anastasia and I are flying back to, um, are flying back to Germany. And um, yeah, I mean, we don't really have a place to work out of right now because both of these places are hostels. They're like one of the cheapest things we could find that wasn't like a dirt hole. Um, so we got to figure out where we're going to work and how we're going to work. I'm at a Starbucks right now. So this might be my office for the next, for the remaining 10 days or something. Um, yeah, and just, you know, getting through the last days. Um, it's actually funny, all of us, like me, Anastasia, Ricky, and also Jay, who is flying back to Germany in, on May 9th, I think, to then go to Barcelona, um, we're all done with Bali. Like, we all agree it was amazing, Bali is gorgeous, but we're done. It's enough. It's enough. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, I mean, I'm looking forward to my family. I'm looking forward to Germany, actually. I don't remember when I looked forward to Germany the last time. And um, I, I look forward to, you know, structure and fucking getting what you ask for. Like one thing definitely in Bali, I mean the reserve thing is one example. Like you reserve something and they're like, nope, not reserve. Like that shit doesn't happen in Germany. Like if you fucking say it's reserved, it's fucking reserved. Um, it's a different culture, you know, like I'm not saying that's bad, but it's uh, it's definitely not my thing. I also realized that Ubud and Bali people, like all the digital nomad scene, are not my kind of people, at least most of them. I mean, um, I talked with Thomas yesterday um, and I told him that he, him, Thomas and Anastasia are the only two relationships that I'm taking from Bali back to Germany um, or taking, you know, like I've met some cool people here who I've had conversations with, but no one who I really feel like I wanna like necessarily keep in touch with. At least I think so, I'm pretty sure. Not that I'm like calling someone out right now. Um, and so, I mean, those two relationships are obviously worth it, right? I mean, I met my girlfriend, um, the most amazing person in the world. I met her here. So just that is just a miracle. Um, but Thomas um, is a friendship that I wanna, you know, I wanna keep building on. He's gonna stay in Bali. I have no plans right now to come back to Bali, but still like he is definitely a very good friend and someone who I look up to, like I definitely look up to Thomas. Um, he's doing amazing things. So I wish him. I wish him all the best for his project. Um, but yeah, also admitting that Ubud Bali people are not my kinds of people. I definitely had a harder time connecting with them um, as compared to New York, where just you know made friends like this. And I first judged myself for it, and I'm like, what happened? Like, am I suddenly bad at making friends? And um, no, it's just you know, I'm not, I'm not connecting to. To these people on the same level as with people in New York it's a different mindset it's a different you know it's a different kinds of people um, so yeah that's the update 
tomorrow is Monday and uh, yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow and peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up.